We started without anything, had uh, two uh, jobs, uh, low paying jobs. Finally uh, found this place, borrowed a lot of money, kind of rolled the dice. We had to put it all, all on the line. But the prospects of failing right out of college when you're 22 years old are pretty scary. We just had to bootstrap it all the way. I traded my car in on a van and we slept five of us to a single hotel room. If you were lucky, you would get the height of bed. Uh, I, I had to want it more than I ever wanted anything in my whole life. Started actually in a bedroom of uh, the home I was living in. We went through a lot of struggles in the first three or four years of, uh, of business. A lot of times that we didn't pay ourselves, but I was out here usually at work at six in the morning or earlier and stayed until as long as it took. A lot of risk involved and um, I don't think I really even fully understand how much risk was involved when I, when I actually did it. There was no paycheck. We lived off credit card advances. Uh, the business, uh, like most uh, businesses, uh, new businesses, um, struggled during its first year. And um, you know, there were times during that first year that I didn't know whether we, quite frankly, we were ever going to make it. Without the people who believe in themselves, who believe they have a chance, who take a risk, who work hard, our country will never see prosperity because it's only when individuals pursue success that our nation's economy can be successful. As most businesses, it took a year to, for us to really start um, uh, getting a foothold and being able to move forward. And, um, um, and after that, we were very fortunate. We, we, we stuck with it. I have 900 employees now, and I am the first to tell you uh, that absolutely, I count on my staff. I just couldn't do this. We always remain loyal to the employees. Uh, they've always been a part of the whole team. We, we exist because of them. And the better the business does, the better they do. It bothers me. There are those people in our, in our country who think it's all about the government. Well, the government has no money to pay for the things it provides if there's not people out there every day who get up, go to work, have a good paying job, work hard, take care of their families, if we don't have people in this country who risk everything, who put in the long hours, risk all they have to try to create a business, who have an idea, those people who pursue success in their daily lives, that individual, that individual effort, it matters. And if we ever become a country in which we don't reward and honor that kind of behavior, if we don't reward those who work hard, if we don't reward those who take care of business, if we don't understand and support those who start a business. Our ability to create an economy, to have the necessary revenues to pay for government services disappears. But more importantly, we lose the opportunity to be that country, that one place, that exceptional America, where everybody, every kid can grow up and pursue the American dream.